Hey guys, meet my very first Android 1080p LCD projector, Vivibrite F40 Up. Basically, it is F40 with Android OS built in, loaded with 4800 lumens and 15,000 to 1 dynamic contrast ratio. Great for both games and movie. Let's have a closer look now. Excellent build quality with sturdy plastic housing. Stylish and having the same design as other F-Series. There are main lens and IR receiver in the front. Manual focus, our vertical keystone and dual 5 watt speakers are located on the right. At the back, there are two USB ports, HDMI port, SPDRF, RJ45 network port and AUX audio outputs, IR receivers, and AXC power input. The navigation buttons that control the projector is there as well. Fan and two large hissings are located on the left. Four anti-skid pads at the bottom to provide stability, followed by four standard ceiling mounts. There is a cool LED light on top, red for standby and green when power on. Lastly, a simple mini stand that helps to adjust viewing height. And here are the included accessories. The must have remote control for navigation, power call with EU plug. No worry, you can change it easily to match your need. A cleaning cloth for lens. A useful and details on a menus that let you get started easily. Lastly, a special guide for Android OS. Be sure to go through them. F40 Up supports screen size from 50 inch to 200 inch. Suitable for both day and night. As usual, you need to keep the screen small in order to get a brighter screen. 200 inch screen size performs best in the low light environment. As you can see, Picture quality, color, and contrast are much better than. You can enjoy all your favorite movies through the built-in media player. Just connect your USB hard drive will do. Share all your precious photos with friends and family members easily. The built-in two 5 watt speakers are excellent, loud with clear treble and nice bass. You can also adjust EQ settings and enable surround sound. As for the fan's noise level, it is still okay. You won't hear much fan noise during music or movie playback. Let's have a look on the built-in navigation panel. Feel free to configure the projector yourself, play around with it, and set the best settings for your preference. Simple and easy to control. By the way, you might want to check out my projector calibration guide to get the best image quality out of it too. Yes, you can use F40 Up for office works. Surf the internet or present PowerPoint to your group member during the work. Texts are clear and sharp, as you can see. Image quality and color are excellent. Vivid and accurate colors. You can see the details easily. Almost perfect here.
No 24 hertz support natively, but still smooth, even being played back on 60 hertz. Yes, it does support 50 hertz and 60 hertz natively, and they are performing very well, smooth as butter. Twenty four hertz movie is still good to go, no worry. Furthermore, it is performing very well on both highlights and shadows. Excellent contrast and vivid colors after proper calibration. As expected, perfectly smooth 60Hz. Just look at this 4K 60 frame per second video. Peanut butter smooth, right? Fifty Hertz is performing great. Chinese TV dramas will run smoothly through the USB hard drive. Perfect for gaming? A big yes. F40 Ups performs very well in input lag tests. FYI, this video clip is 5x lower than the usual one. You won't notice input lag in actual gaming. Just connect to your game console and rock the world every day. As for smoothness, Pingball is used to test projector gaming ability. Just check out the ball movement. Perfectly smooth 60Hz is what you get. Arcade games perform well too. Do take note that the sound is from the internal speakers directly. Excellent sound for a budget projector. Spokesperson was quoted as saying, Duh, I'm a dumb cop. I like to give Tom Tucker a ticket. I was going like 41. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, look, Cal. I don't take coupons from Jay and Chicken. Not after last time. Are you, uh, are you coming on that novel? You're working on Alright, these are what you get from F40 basic version. For F40 up, this is the Android 6 for you. Simple and easy to use interface. Navigate through it with the bundle remote control smoothly. However, do take note that there is no official Android 9 firmware yet. 
Therefore, some of the applications might not work on the old Android version. For example, Netflix is not working. Thankfully, YouTube is working smoothly. 1080p contents can be streamed through 5GB wirelessly. 4K contents will require lens cable. The Wi-Fi performance is slow. Cable is excellent for 100 Mac connection. Decent wireless mirroring performance. Not the best out there, but get the job done. You can use it to watch video. Audio and video can be streamed smoothly. FYI, I'm using Android smartphone for the test. Check out the docking station installation guide and usage too. Well, that's all for Vivibrite F40 Up projector review. Perfect for both movie and games. Get the cheaper F40 basic version if you don't need Android OS. And do check out my top projector chart too. You might find the one that suits your needs there. And please use my referral link to buy one to support my efforts. Don't forget to thumb up too. Thanks. I'm Jace, glad to see you around. Peace.